Seniors, the deadline to vote for senior superlatives for the yearbook is Tuesday, November 21st. Seniors were sent an email with a link to the Google form. The health office is in need and gentle, gently used clean or new clothes for students. Leggings, sweats, t-shirts, or hoodies. If possible, any size. Our supply is very low. Thank you in advance for any donation for our students. Dang, I just forgot my homework. I'm just praying she'll let me turn it in a little bit later. She'll probably let you turn it in late. Oh, hey, by the way, do you have the tickets for the football game? <laughs> Stealing is bad. You don't ever want to be like that guy right there. Hubert Fly. Senior Cosmetology Clinic is opening on November 17th, periods 1 through 4 only, on Fridays. Senior cosmetology students will be offering discounted services such as haircuts, manicures, and more. Students and staff members are welcome. Students must have a free period and have permission from parents to receive services. Permission slips are available in room 120. Appointment, appointments are greatly appreciated and can be made by stopping in the room 120 or calling the number below. Anyone that has newspapers, they are done reading, can bring them to room 113 fashion. Our students can use them for a project. Go back. Go back chair gear, who needs to restock their Newberg go back gear? NFA cheerleading is hosting an apparel shop with some new styles. Please consider looking through our shop and supporting NFA cheer. All styles are available with or without cheerleading and the design. Thank you all for your support. NFA band is looking for more instrumental players. If you've ever played an instrument, even in elementary school, think about coming back and joining band this year. We have a lot of fun adventures planned for this year. Please see Mrs. Maritano. Uh, in the band room, 237, with any questions. Go, go back basketball gear. The Newburgh basketball store is is open for the public to purchase apparel to wear and support Newburgh basketball this upcoming basketball season. There are a variety of items such as sweatshirts, t-shirts, hoodies, sweatpants, and shorts. Please share and spread the word. Thank you for your time and support. Anyone that has any clothing they would like to donate, can bring bags to Fashion Room 113. The fashion kids are creating a reconstructional outfit and need material. Mrs. Stafford, thanks you for your help. Still need your senior portraits? Well, Life Touch will be here for senior portraits November 13th, 13th through November 17th, 17th December 11th, 11th through December 15th, 15th January 22nd, 22nd through 26th. It is mandatory to make an appointment to have your senior portrait taken. You must have your senior portrait taken to have your picture in the yearbook. For additional information, please That's see really Mr. Rusa in the student's activity office. Life, Life Touch will be here for underclass photos on November 28th and 29th. Photos will be taken during your phys ed class. Remember in a phase, every go back, go back every day. Have a great day. Halloween has come and gone, but our real story has just begun. Welcome back to the Game Clock. Let's dive into today's show with your local sports news. Starting off with cross country, six of Newburgh's best athletes traveled to Warwick for the Section 9 Championships. Brady Danny Luck, Joey Santo, Devin Battelick, Miles Davis, Joseph Gato, Anthony Delgado, and Kieran Judson. Congratulations to all of you for making this far. Newburgh placed sixth in their respective races, with only one athlete making states. Brady Danny Luck placed eighth out of 68, qualifying for the state championships. Congratulations to him. Girls swimming had nine of their finest swimmers travel to Valley Central for the Section 9 Championships. Newburgh placed in 7th place overall in the section, but only one swimmer advanced to state championships in Webster. Her name, Elle Gervis. She set the school record for the 50-yard freestyle with a time of 24.22 seconds. Congratulations to her. It's the best time of the year, the Section 9 playoffs. Varsity football dominated the rival Crusaders 35-2 last Friday night. The Goldbacks had their first complete game of the season. Offensively, Newberg was led by 1,000-yard rusher Tajir Walker. Walker had 18 carries, 94 yards, and two touchdowns. Defensively, the Goldbacks were led by Chris Leggett, Fabian Roden, and Matt Patterson. They combined for a whopping 16 tackles. Leggett also had a fumble recovery for a touchdown and two sacks. In special teams, Louis Tejada went 5-for-5 five five with extra points, and Patterson had a blocked punt that was recovered by June Rivas for a touchdown. With this win, the Goldbacks have a rematch and an opportunity for revenge. They face Middletown this Saturday at 1 p.m. for the Section 9 Championship, live from NFA. It's a whiteout. 
pack the stands, or transfer. But before we were given our main event, you, you got to have a little bit of fun. With the annual pep rally Monday night, there's always some nice extra football. Powder Puff 2023. Junior girls versus senior girls with senior boys as chairman. This game was talked about for months on every single morning announcements. This game was an absolute battle for the ages and was totally worth the hype. The juniors were led offensively by Cora Karen with multiple touchdowns and Lindsey Dando on the defensive side. For the seniors, they were led by quarterback Megan Evans with five total touchdowns, three passing, two rushing. The running game was also led by Michelle and Katie Bell. This game would go into overtime, tied at 18 apiece. One overtime wouldn't end it. We were headed to double overtime. After a controversial call by the officials, Evans found wide receiver Julia Leonard for the game-winning touchdown, giving the seniors a 30-24 win in Powder Puff. And if you're mad that we won, get out of our senior lot. Thank you. Thank you, seniors, <laughs> Sophia and Kiara. You guys are amazing. In MLB news, the New York Mets hired former Yankee bench coach Carlos Mendoza to be their new manager. Since he's never coached in the majors, we don't really have that much information to report. In the NBA, the New York Knicks defeated the Los Angeles Clippers 111-97 on Monday night. They host the San Antonio Spurs tonight at 7.30 at the Garden. In Brooklyn, the Nets lost to the Milwaukee Bucks 129-125 on Monday. They host the Clippers tonight at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. In the NHL, all three Tri-State teams were in action last night. The red-hot New York Rangers defeated the Detroit Red Wings 5-3 at MSG. New York started the game with a 5-0 lead in the second period. Detroit would get three goals back but it was too little, too late. The Rangers will battle the team that ended their win streak tomorrow night against the Minnesota Wild. The Islanders continued struggling with a 4-2 loss to Minnesota at UBS Arena. They will play the Boston Bruins in Beantown tomorrow night. New Jersey played the streaky Avalanche and were defeated 6-3 in Colorado. The Devils will host the Capitals at the Rock this Friday night. Enough talk about that. Let's move on to your two-minute drill. The NFL had a very interesting week, a few twists and turns, but also sticking to the status quo. Start that two-minute timer. We ready? Here we go. On Thursday Night Football, the Black and Gold Brigade defeated the Tennessee Titans 20-16 in Pittsburgh. In Germany, the second series of the international games featured two AFC juggernauts, the Dolphins and the Chiefs. After four tough quarters of football, the Chiefs held on to beat Miami 21-14. Down in the A, the Minnesota Vikings snuck a 31-28 win away from the Falcons, thanks to a clutch fourth-quarter comeback by newly acquired quarterback Josh Dobbs. In the Big Easy, the Saints held on for a 24-17 win over the Bears. Up at Lambeau, the Packer defense continued to bang the drum on the Rams and backup quarterback Brett Rippon with a 20-3 victory. In Foxborough, the Commanders snuck out of New England with a 20-17 win over the Patriots. The Ravens might be the most feared team in the entire NFL, specifically because of how they dismantle NFC teams. Playing host of the first-place Seahawks, the Ravens' flock retreat to a 37-3 win in b -more. Down in Houston, fans retreat to an instant classic. The number two pick might have proved he should have went number one after all. C.J. Stroud goes on to throw five passing touchdowns against a stout Bucks defense as Stroud outdueled Baker Mayfield in a 39-37 win for the Texans. The Browns handled their business, defeating the lifeless Cardinals 27-0. In Carolina, dominant defense by the Indianapolis Colts led to a 27-13 win over the Panthers. The New York football Giants not only lost to the Raiders 30-6, but they lost Daniel Jones for the rest of the season to an Achilles injury. In a battle for the NFC East first place spot, the Cowboys traveled to Philadelphia to play the Eagles. This was a very close game, but a last-second stop claimed victory for the Eagles. In Cincinnati, the Bengals took on the Bills on Sunday Night Football. The Bills were flat-out overmatched, as they fell 24-18 to the Bengals. And on Monday Night Football, the LA Chargers destroyed the Jets 27-6 at MetLife. Stop the timer. That's all the time we have for today. I'm JJ Seglio, and we'll see you next week.